Hey everybody, we're in this series on how to recognize the sound of love because believe it or not, how we communicate matters, whether it's with our words, with our actions, with our thoughts, but even just the vibe that we can put off. Come on, have you ever experienced somebody who just had this negative vibe? They didn't even say a word, they didn't get anything, but maybe they had this look or they had this vibe and when you got around them, it just felt that certain way. Well, we can communicate with a sound of love with our words, with our actions, but really just with our energy and our, our vibe if you will. And as Christians, as Christ followers, as we connect to God, we are called to go and resonate and reverberate with the sound of love everywhere that we go. We know that God is love. First John four, seven through eight says that God is love. And because God is love to walk in love is to walk in God. And if we don't uh, walk in love with other people, then we may not actually be truly walking in God. See, we can't love God and hate people. In fact, our love for God is demonstrated by how well we love people. We also see that in John 13, 35, that people should be able to identify us. He should be able to identify you as a Christ follower by the way that you love people, not just your family, not just those who love you back, but by the way that we love every body, our neighbor, the people who disagree with us, the people who have different political views, religious views, whatever. We are called to love God and love people no matter what. And that's what we've been talking about is how how to recognize the sound of love in ourselves and others, and then how to live this thing out so that we can love God and love people better. See, also believe it or not, the Bible says that the way that we love God and love people also determines our eternity. We all want to go to heaven, but Luke chapter 10, uh, verse 25 through 37, uh, we did a series on this, on how to neighbor and how to love your neighbor. Uh, there was a question that was posed to Jesus. How do we get to heaven? And he said, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, strength, everything that you have and love your neighbor as yourself. That Wow, that's how you get to heaven is what Jesus was saying right there at that moment. And so, yes, we can make a decision. Yes, we can raise our hand in church. Yes, we can get baptized. All those things are important. However, there's now action steps, loving God and loving people after the fact. And that is the way that we prove and the world recognizes that we are Christ followers. So today we're covering number six uh, in our series. Love sounds like authenticity. It sounds like authenticity. Can I tell you, it's important to be real. Nobody likes fake. Uh, in fact, in, in our world of social media, it's so easy to put out fake. We put out the picture that we took seven times uh, to make sure that we got the right light, the right angle, the right look, and then we put a filter on it so I so we look even better. Come on, have you ever done that? Uh, you put a little filter on it so you look better. You look like you ain't got no wrinkles. Uh, you look like you got your lips or pouty or whatever it is, you put this filter on Uh, And that is, as fun as it is, it's fake. It's not real. Uh, But love, true love, sounds like authenticity. It sounds like being real. Can I tell you, it's okay to be yourself. In fact, the Bible says that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. And so you are called to be you. You're not called to be me. I'm not called to be you. Uh, if you're a church leader and you're in church, your church is not called to be uh, the church down the street. You are called to fulfill the mission and the purpose and the calling that only you are wired to fulfill. And so you be you, be real. Love sounds like authenticity. Also, we nobody likes to be around somebody who feels like they've arrived. Come on, you ever been around somebody who just, you feel like they think that they're better than you, uh, but and they've not exposed or really expressed any of the issues. You feel like they got it all going on and everything's perfect. Can I tell you that that is not true of anybody. Nobody is perfect. Nobody has it going on. In fact, I'll just tell you for us, we miss it all the time. There's times where, man, I am a total jerk uh, to my wife. There's times uh, where I'm, um, I didn't connect with God the way that I feel like I probably should have. There's times where, man, I'll just be real. I cussed. Oh man, I let it go. Yes. As a pastor, I cussed. It happens all the time, uh, because I'm not perfect and I'm still being perfected, uh, by Jesus and by the Holy spirit. And so it's okay to be real. I miss it from time to time. Uh, if you, if you feel like a failure, join the club, welcome to the club 
I feel like a failure sometimes as well. I feel like I'm not doing enough. I feel like I'm not achieving enough. I feel like I'm not good enough. I feel like I'm not worthy enough. But because of what Jesus did on the cross, he's, he's, he saw me, he saw you, and he says, you are worth it. And so he went for us no matter what we feel like. And so we want to be authentic in who we are and where we are so that we continue to move forward and take steps. Uh, be vulnerable. Be real. See, none of us have arrived. We're all imperfect people being perfected by Jesus, by the Holy Spirit. We all can miss it at any moment. In fact, I think when we acknowledge that, that's when humility comes in and said, Jesus, I'm not arrived. You know, if we play it up and we put that mask on, like I've got it all together and everything's good and I, I, all, I, all is good, all is good, all is good. You know, you ever been to, you know, maybe your church gathering or you've been, uh, hey, how are you? Good, 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 good. Nobody says, hey, how are you? Well, I just want to let you know, I just totally missed it and fell apart and I cussed off that person on the way here and I did this. And I did. Nobody, nobody does that. Why? Because we, we live in sometimes this, this world of being inauthentic. Now, don't be negative all the time, but it's okay to be real and have those connections and express really what's going on with you. And that that is attractive to people, especially in today's world. But think about this. Romans 12, 9 through 10 speaks on being authentic by the way that we love. It says this, let the inner movement of your heart always be to love one another and never play the role of an actor wearing a mask. Despise evil and embrace everything that is good and virtuous. Be devoted to tenderly loving your fellow believers as members of one family. Try to outdo yourselves in respect and honor of one another. I love this uh, passion translation of this scripture because it's talking about loving people, especially our fellow believers, especially our fellow Christ followers. It says, let the inner movement of your heart. So let, let, let your motivation, let your engagement, let your action steps always be to love one another. Whether you're having a hard conversation, maybe you're having a teaching moment or a coaching moment, maybe you're disciplining uh, your kids, uh, maybe you're making a correction, maybe you're having a heated argument with your spouse, whatever it is, it should be motivated and stirred by love for that person and love uh, for your your kid. You're, you're, maybe you're having a conversation with your boss. Man, you you should love them again appropriately as 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 a as a fellow human being is what Jesus is saying. It's like do it out of your, your motivation of love, not out of a way to be right, not out of a way to prove yourself, not in a way to look higher and, and mightier than they are. No, no, no. Do it from a place of love. And then it says, never play the role of an actor wearing a mask. Don't be fake. Be real. It's okay to express your thoughts. It's okay to express your feelings. It's okay to express your concerns or your frustrations. However, let it always be motivated from a place of love. See, as Christ followers, we have played church for far too long. We've played church for far too long. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of just playing church. I want to be the church. That's why we started this organization, this movement, is we want to help equip you to be the church, not to play church, not to just check off a box that you went to someplace on weekend, not to just check off a box that you read your Bible today or you prayed. No, 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 but actually to take action steps and take off the mask of faking the funk and actually taking steps and being the church. We don't want to play church. We want to be the church. We've also put leaders up on pedestals. Come on. I'm guilty of this. I know you are too. We, we lift up people. You're fam Think about your famous uh, pastors, your mega church pastors. You're like, oh man, that person's incredible. And man, they have such a gift. And oh, they're so perfect. And oh man, if I could just meet him, he's a celebrity. And can I tell you, they are just people like you and I, I'm just like you. You're just like me. We are created in God's image and we each have a role and a purpose and a gift to put into practice and to fulfill. And as we do that together, guess what? We get to expand God's kingdom together. I'm not better than you. Hopefully I, I, you don't think that you're better than me. And as we work together and partner together, man, we can accomplish a lot more for God's kingdom. But it takes us loving uh, authentically, authentically, being authentic in our love, authentic in who we are and, and just loving people wherever we go. See, I've not arrived, but I'm still being perfected 
by the Holy Spirit. Think about Paul. Paul said the same thing. Paul said, listen, I am the worst of all sinners. I'm the lowest of all the disciples. People, and this is the guy who wrote two thirds of the New Testament. This is the guy who we would think, man, this was a superhero, a spiritual giant. He said, no, I'm the lowest of lows. I'm the worst of all sinners. I'm the least deserving. Why? Because he realized authentically I am nothing, but in Christ, he is using me. See, it's all Christ in me because I no longer live, but Christ lives in and through me. And so love sounds like authenticity. Uh, honestly, we aren't enough. You aren't enough. I'm not enough. We can't do this life very well. Let's just be real. We can't live this life uh, the way that God intended, but Jesus, I need Jesus. You need Jesus. And as we as we tap in and connect to the source of all love, Jesus Christ himself. Again, we started out. God is love. If we connect to God daily, you know, guess what? You never have to leave God's presence. He, he can always be with you. If you will acknowledge his presence, he is with you everywhere that you go. So as you live in him and connect with him, you can begin to operate in love and live this life out and honor God and glorify God and love people even when they seem unlovable, even when they're unforgivable, you can love them and forgive them and care for them and, and be kind to them and express the love of God to them because Christ went to the cross for them too. And so I just wanna encourage us, it's okay to be authentic. It's okay to be real. Uh, maybe you need to be real and have a real conversation with somebody. Maybe you need to express that. I know I do, I got some conversations I gotta have. And so I'm just thinking about them in my head right now. Man, I need to have an honest conversation uh, with that person and just uh, in love, not out of uh, a motivation to be right or to hurt them back or to do this. I've gotta have some conversations in love uh, to clear the air, to love people the way God loves me. And so I hope you'll do that as well. Hope you'll uh, just take those steps of faith. It takes connecting to God and he'll give you the strength. He'll give you the, the peace. He'll give you the energy. He'll give you the words to say as you go and love people with authenticity. All right, everybody. Love sounds like authenticity. Go love courageously.